Gwen Renee Stefani is an American singer-songwriter. She is a co-founder, lead vocalist, and the primary songwriter of the band No Doubt, whose singles include Just a Girl, Spiderwebs, and Don't. Wikipedia Born, October 3, 1969, age 54 years, Fullerton, California, United States. Spouse, Blake Shelton, M. 2021, Gavin Rossdale, M. 2002-2016. Children, Kingston Rossdale. Music groups, no doubt, since 1986, March 4th Marching Band. Height, 1.68 meters. Parents, Dennis Stefani, Patty Flynn. Musician Gwen Stefani is known for the songs Hollaback Girl, The Sweet Escape, as well as Just a Girl, with her former band No Doubt. 1969 Present Gwen Stefani now, singer-performing duet with husband Blake Shelton at 2024 ACM Awards. Less than a month after reuniting with No Doubt for this year's Coachella Music Fest, singer Gwen Stefani will take the stage for her next gig, this time with her husband, Blake Shelton. The musical power couple are performing together at the 2024 ACM Awards on May 16. Stefani, 54, and Shelton, 47, have been regular collaborators since they first met on The Voice in 2014. Two of their love songs, Nobody But You and Happy Anywhere, topped Billboard's country airplay chart. Their most recent duet is Purple Irises, which came out in February. Stefani has also been a guest artist at some of Shelton's concerts, and vice versa. Who is Gwen Stefani? Musician Gwen Stefani first gained fame in the 1990s as the lead singer of the ska pop band No Doubt, before embarking on a successful solo career. No Doubt's Diamond certified 1995 album Tragic Kingdom began a nine year stretch of success, with Stefani co writing some of the band's most enduring hits like Just a Girl, Don't Speak, and Underneath It All. The three-time Grammy winner embarked on her solo career in the early 2000s, delivering the number one song, Hollaback Girl, as well as the popular tracks, The Sweet Escape and Wind It Up. Beyond music, Stefani has served as a coach on the competition show The Voice for multiple seasons. After divorcing fellow musician Gavin Rossdale, Stefani married country singer Blake Shelton in July 2021. Full name, Gwen Renee Stefani. Born, October 3, 1969. Birthplace, Fullerton, California Spouse, Gavin Rossdale, 2002-2016, and Blake Shelton, 2021-present. Children, Kingston, Zuma, and Apollo. Astrological, Libra. Young Gwen Stefani. Gwen Renee Stefani was born on October 3, 1969, in Fullerton, California. Stefani's parents were childhood sweethearts and churchgoers who had four children, and her home life was happy. We were kind of like the most idealistic family that you could imagine, she told Clash. Taught to sew by her mother, Stefani developed an interest in fashion early on. Her love of music was influenced by her older brother, Eric, who played recordings by ska revival bands such as Madness. Gwen Stefani Band, No Doubt in 1986, Stefani's brother Eric started the group No Doubt, with friend John Spence as the lead singer. Eric served as keyboardist and primary songwriter, and Gwen soon joined as their second vocalist. The band's name was inspired by Spence's catchphrase, No Doubt. Not long after bassist Tony Canal joined the group, he and Gwen started dating. Tragedy struck No Doubt while it was still performing in relative obscurity. In December 1987, Spence died by suicide. So shocking was the loss that the rattled young musicians disbanded, though the break proved temporary. With Gwen as its new lead singer, the band toiled in clubs around their native Orange County for several years. They eventually signed to Interscope Records in 1991 and released their self-titled debut album the following year. Unfortunately, the album failed to attract much attention from critics or the music-buying public. Success also eluded 1993's The Beacon Street Collection, an independent effort, despite their record contract. Gwen's relationship with Canal hit the skids not long after, with the pair calling it quits in late 1993. The next year, the band suffered another loss when Eric left the group. Gwen, Canal, guitarist Tom Dumont, 
and drummer Adrian Young soldiered on, unaware of the success that was just around the corner. No doubt members, Tom Dumont, Tony Canal, Gwen Stefani, and Adrian Young. With Tragic Kingdom, 1995, no doubt emerged as a leading force in popular music. Their distinctive sound, with flavors of ska, punk and pop, won over many new fans. Reaching the top of the Billboard 200 Albums chart in late 1996, Tragic Kingdom's success was driven in part by the hit single Just a Girl, with its video helping to make Stefani both a fashion icon and a star. Much like Madonna before her, Stefani wowed fans with her distinctive personal style. Her look borrowed from many different scenes and cultures, from punk-style bondage pants to a forehead decoration known as a bindi traditionally worn by some Indian women. Stefani also had a major hand in shaping No Doubt's sound as she filled part of the songwriting void her brother had left behind. Known for her deeply personal lyrics, she found a lot of material for Tragic Kingdom in her failed relationship with Canal. It's said to be the inspiration for the popular ballad Don't Speak and Happy Now? Elsewhere, Excuse Me Mr. and Spiderwebs also made noise on the charts. In all, Stefani co-wrote 13 of the album's 15 songs. By the end of 1996, Tragic Kingdom had sold 5 million copies and earned a Grammy nomination for Best Rock Album before becoming a Diamond-certified record in February 1999. The group's follow-up album, Return of Saturn, 2000, went platinum almost immediately and again featured some very personal lyrics by Stefani. In the song Ex-Girlfriend, she expressed her frustration with a horrible breakup. Like Tragic Kingdom before it, Return of Saturn received a Grammy nod for Best Rock Album. Around this time, Stefani dyed her trademark white blonde locks, bright fuchsia. She told Marie Claire magazine that the vivid new color was in response to her, temporary, breakup with Gavin Rossdale, the lead singer of the grunge band Bush. Stefani started to emerge as an artist in her own right in 2001, singing on Eve's smash hit Let Me Blow Your Mind and Moby's successful single South Side. She even netted her first Grammy Award for her work with Eve, bringing home the honor for Best Rap Slash Sung Collaboration. No Doubt won two Grammy Awards out of nine nominations. That same year, No Doubt released another multi-platinum album Rock Steady, which had strong hip-hop and reggae influences. The group won two Grammy Awards for songs from the 2001 album, Hey Baby received the best pop performance by a duo or group with vocal in 2003, and Underneath It All won that same award the following year. Both tracks cracked the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at numbers 3 and 5, respectively. The band was at the top of their game, but set their sights away from stardom. After Rock Steady, we all decided we wanted to take a break, Stefani said. We'd literally never taken a break. Even so, No Doubt continued working. Their Grammy-nominated cover of It's My Life, originated by the English band Talk Talk, appeared on 2003's The Singles Collection and reached number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. Finally, after touring in 2004, No Doubt began a years-long hiatus, during which time Stefani and her bandmates became parents. No Doubt Reunions after joining her No Doubt bandmates for a national tour in 2009, Stefani and the group reunited again in 2012. They performed together at the Teen Choice Awards that July and soon afterward released Push and Shove, their first studio album together in nearly 11 years. This recording was filled with the ska-influenced sound that helped make Stefani and the band world famous. No Doubt seemed determined to regain their earlier success undertaking a heavy promotional and tour schedule to make the album their next big hit. Although it didn't fare quite as well as earlier efforts, Push and Shove reached number three on the Billboard 200 and included the hit song, Settle Down. No Doubt reunited in April 2024 to perform at the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. No Doubt played a smattering of concerts in 2014 and 2015, but remained out of the spotlight and recording studio for almost a decade. Then in January 2024, Stefani announced the band would once again be reuniting to perform at the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival that April. It just happened so fast, and that's my favorite kind of thing to happen. We haven't really figured out the next steps of how we're going to do this, but we're just all so excited, she told people. And I think really just watching the internet blow up, with, how excited that the fans are.
It's inspiring us. Their Coachella performances featured some of their biggest hits, and a surprise performance of their 2000 song Bathwater with Olivia Rodrigo during the first show was one of the festival's most discussed moments. Solo Success, Songs and Albums In 2004, Stefani released her first solo album, Love Angel Music Baby, which had more of a pop and club music sound than her work with No Doubt. In making the multi-platinum, Grammy-nominated album, Stefani worked with a number of well-known songwriters and producers, including Dr. Dre, Dallas Austin, Linda Perry, No Doubt bandmate Tony Canal, and Eve, with whom she delivered the hit song Rich Girl. An even bigger success was the infectious Billboard Hot 100 chart topper Hollaback Girl, one of the most popular songs of the summer of 2005. Love Angel Music Baby also featured the well-liked tracks Cool, Luxurious, and What You Waiting For. Gwen Stefani performs her number one song Hollaback Girl at the 2005 Teen Choice Awards. Her next solo effort, The Sweet Escape, 2006, was also a smash hit. Within six months, the album had sold one million copies and now is certified multi-platinum. Stefani earned a Grammy Award nomination for her duet with Akon on the album's title track, which rose to number two on the Billboard Hot 100. Other hit songs from the album were Wind It Up and Four in the Morning. Following a lengthy break from creating new material, in October 2015, Stefani debuted the single Used to Love You, ahead of the March 2016 release of This Is What The Truth Feels Like. The album debuted at No. 1 on the Billboard 200 but failed to produce major hits or other accolades. Stefani then delivered her second album in as many years in October 2017, the holiday-themed You Make It Feel Like Christmas. The next summer, Stefani kicked off a residency at Planet Hollywood Zappos Theater in Las Vegas. Her I'm Just a Girl show featured her greatest hits from her time with No Doubt and as a solo artist. After 57 concerts, the residency ended in November 2021. During her residency, Stefani continued to release new music, largely in collaboration with other artists. One of her primary collaborators has been her husband, Blake Shelton. The couple released the 2019 duet Nobody But You, which rose to number 18 on the Billboard Hot 100 and became a major country hit. They followed up with another number one song on Billboard's country airplay chart, Happy Anywhere, in July 2020. Most recently, Stefani and Shelton released Purple Irises in February 2024. A love song like their previous duets, the track had more rock and pop influences. Purple Irises is a song that comes from the idea that when you plant something, you are planting hope and watching love grow, weathering all the different seasons of growth, Stefani said in a press release. We are in this together, we planted the seeds together, and we are growing together. Her other collaborations include 2021's Slow Clap with rapper Saweetie and Light My Fire, a 2022 Sean Paul song that also featured Jamaican singer Shensia. I haven't really worked with a lot of female rappers besides Eve, and at that time, we were more like peers, Stefani said of her duet with Saweetie. This is like she's like literally so much younger, and to have two girls that are from different genres of music, that's what I love about it. Stefani's recent solo work includes the ska-inspired pop song Let Me Reintroduce Myself from December 2020 and the pop ballad True Babe from June 2023. The Voice Coach in 2014, Stefani took her career in a new direction by signing on to become a coach on the reality competition show The Voice. Filling in for a pregnant Christina Aguilera, Stefani and fellow newcomer Pharrell Williams joined longtime voice coaches Blake Shelton and Adam Levine for the program's seventh season. Stefani later returned to a coaching seat for the 9th, 12th, 17th, 19th, 22nd, and 24th seasons. Her mentee Carter Rubin won season 19. Continuing her pattern of coaching every other season, Stefani will return to The Voice for season 26, which begins in fall 2024. Husband Blake Shelton Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani met while coaches on The Voice and got married in July 2021. Stefani is currently married to country singer Blake Shelton, who is her second husband. The musicians went public with their relationship in November 2015, after meeting on The Voice. Shelton was one of the original coaches on the competition show and stepped back after 23 seasons. 
Stefani and Shelton announced their engagement in October, 2020. Their wedding was on July 3, 2021, at Shelton's Ranch in Oklahoma. The voice host and friend Carson Daly served as their officiant. Throughout their relationship, the pair has created new music and performed together. Their duets include three love songs, Nobody But You, Happy Anywhere, and Purple Irises. Ex-husband Gavin Rossdale and Kids Prior to her marriage with Blake Shelton, Stefani was married to musician Gavin Rossdale for 13 years. Rossdale is the lead singer of the grunge band Bush and has also had a solo music career. Stefani and Rossdale had a lavish wedding in London on September 14, 2002. She wore a white and pink gown, designed by John Galliano. Two other celebrations were held, including one in Los Angeles. Stefani and Rossdale welcomed three sons together, who all have their dad's last name. Kingston was born in May 2006, followed by Zuma in August 2008 and Apollo in February 2014. In August 2015, after more than a dozen years together, Stefani and Rossdale called it quits and announced they were divorcing. Their settlement was finalized in April 2016 with the parents sharing joint custody of their children. Net Worth Stefani has an estimated net worth of $160 million as of May 2024. The singer has amassed her wealth from her music career, her fashion and beauty enterprises, and some movie work. Capitalizing on her status as a style icon, the singer turned her love of fashion into the clothing line LAMB in 2003. The name of the line stands for Love Angel Music Baby. Stefani also has a line of eyewear called GX and launched the GXV makeup brand, pronounced Give, in early 2022. In 2008, Stefani unveiled a fragrance line, Haruyuku Lovers, which sparked major criticism for appropriating Japanese culture. Stefani has been a lifelong fan of Japan, where her father worked for many years, and defended her choices repeatedly in media interviews. If we didn't buy and sell and trade our cultures in, we wouldn't have so much beauty, you know, she told Paper Magazine in 2021. We learn from each other, we share from each other, we grow from each other. And all these rules are just dividing us more and more. Stefani has dabbled in acting over the years as well. She had a small part in the 2004 biopic The Aviator, directed by Martin Scorsese. Star Leonardo DiCaprio portrayed director Howard Hughes as Stefani stepped into the role of actor and sex symbol Jean Harlow. Stefani also had a cameo in the 2016 animated movie Trolls. Quotes I think I've been able to fool a lot of people because I know I'm a dork. I'm a geek. I don't fight with people, like, I can barely fight with my husband because I'll just start crying instead. I remember when I was in school, they would ask, what are you going to be when you grow up, and then you'd have to draw a picture of it. I drew a picture of myself as a bride. When we write music, there's no mold. There's no one telling you to spell it like this, or to put a paragraph here. You just say what you think, whatever you feel, and all of a sudden, it's a song. <laughs>